Hey, I wasn't expecting you. Come on in. Welcome to the CKUT Music Library. Hi, my name is Madison Palmer. I am the digital music librarian at here at CKUT. And today I'm going to take you through the music library and show you some of my favorite records. As you can see, we are bottom to top stacked with records, CDs, behind you with some cassettes. We have over a hundred thousand physical copies of music in this library, which is an almost unfathomable amount. Over the years, labels, produ er, not producers, promoters, the artists themselves have sent in music to CKUT, hoping to make it to our coveted airways. And we have taken painstaking time to listen to the music, decide whether or not it should be played on our airways or not. And then my job has been to help process everything into this library so it'll be easy to find when you're looking for something to play on your show uh, or something to just throw on while you're working in the office. So the first album I want to show you is Shad's Tao. This came out last year. Um, Shad is a Juno award-winning rapper from London, Ontario, which is really fun for me because my roommate, who I love so much, she is from London, Ontario, and Shad actually went to her old high school, which is really exciting. Um, Tao, obviously, um, in Chinese means the way, but the other meaning that Shad used for it, which I find really interesting, is um, an acronym for The Abolition Of, which is a novel by C.S. Lewis, wrote the Narnia Chronicles. Um, and I'm a literature major, so I found that really fun. Okay, so this next album is right here. And this is Anne F. Jacques, um, some a, par a parodies. This is a Montreal-based sound artist. The genre is musique actuelle, which is a genre that is very specific to Quebec. It's basically just um, experimental sound art, field recording kind of stuff, but specifically based in Montreal. Um, this album is really cool. It was recorded with contact mics. There's soft resonances and like soft surfaces. It's very, um, it's a very, uh, uh, textural album which I really enjoy okay so this next album there's no actual album art but this is Bjork's I Miss You remixes um, I feel like Bjork doesn't really need an introduction she's the world's most iconic Icelander um, the song I Miss You was the ninth track off of her 1995 album post it was also the sixth single um, and this album is just two remixes of this song that I really enjoy. The first one is uh, Doobie's Rub Part 2. It's a hip-hop thing. Um, and then the second one is just an original mix. It is just a fun listen. Love to listen to different artists' interpretations of other artists' songs. Um, and this is a really good, really solid awesome. remix album. This is the international music section of the library. And my favorite out of all of these is Balkan Beatbox. Um, it, it, in the name of the artist, it is a Balkan band that does beatbox. Um, and they have this one album. It's not this one, but they have an album called New Med. And there's a track on it that is used as a... It was sampled by Jason Derulo in his song Talk Dirty. And it was a very exciting discovery for us at the station um, when we found out, when we found the sample. Ah, okay. This is the, my final and favorite album to show you guys today. This is Matt Warren's Music Is My Life. Matt Warren is one of the pioneers of Chicago House. He's had a 40 year career, has done many 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 things and this album is him collaborating with famous house diva pepper gomez who also i believe founded wake up music the record label and this album is so fun it's heralded as the first ever new house album i don't know what that means don't ask me what the difference is between that and regular house but these songs are 
just very, they're house, they're fun to party to, dance to. There's a song on here that his son composed. I, it's a piano track. I think it was In the Dark Storm is a song that his son played on piano. Um, you have your main mix, your disco mix of Catch Me If You Can, How Do I Love Thee, one of my favorite songs of all time. Uh, this is just, in my opinion, this is the best album we have in the station. Okay, um, and that's, those are my five albums from the library that I hold most near and dear to my heart. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was so fun. I spend a lot of time in the library, but very rarely do I go in and really, um, explore what we have here so this was a really fun exercise and this will not be the last time that this is done so stay tuned we have a huge roster of people coming in this summer to show you what their favorite albums are that we have here in the digital not the digital the physical music library